Brian Page, um, CEO of PGC, an uh, automotive consultancy. Well, uh, you're specialized in uh, well selling cars in the digital age. And you just gave a presentation here at the Copes for Ness new autocoper.nl. And you told us that in a digital age, um, the telephone is getting more and more important. How come? Consumers who are shopping for a car today are using mobile devices uh, on an increasing level. So Google research says that by the end of 2013, that 39% of all automotive queries will be done from a mobile device. When we do paid advertising targeted to mobile users, we see a four to one or five to one ratio of phone calls to actual email leads. With this new trend, dealers will be seeing an increase in phone calls as they invest in mobile advertising, and so their phone processes must be excellent. And they aren't at average, at the average dealership, whether it's in America or in the States or in, uh, in Europe. Yes. the general idea is that the phone is somewhat treated differently than an internet lead or a chat lead, almost like it's not that important. Yes, to be polite, but are we capturing the contact information of the caller, putting it into the CRM? What we're finding is that most dealers have low uh, process to getting in the contact information in CRM. Today we discussed some numbers. Is it 20%, 30%? But it's very low and we can't allow these wonderful opportunities not to be logged in the CRM. So process on phone is important. Okay, it's important, but um, uh, what do the numbers say about the importance? I mean, why is it important? Well, what we're finding is that dealers who put in a good process for phone normally will double, see a 100% increase in appointments, meaning when a consumer calls them on a phone, getting them into the showroom for a test drive is extremely important. So with a good phone process, we normally see from our consultancy practice a 100% increase. So if a dealer is getting 100 appointments a month from the phone, they'll get 200. So this is just simple process, following script, it will sell more cars. Is, is, every, is every uh, dealer aware of that fact? Well, I think talking about the phones is actually an old conversation, meaning that in the past phone training was part of a hiring process or even a monthly inspection. Today with the internet, somehow dealers uh, are distracted. You know, they're trying to do Google AdWords, uh, social media, online reviews, focusing on their website. And many times they forget that when all these marketing dollars, social media all come together, the phone rings and they're not um, as disciplined as they once were in making sure that that phone call captures the consumer information so that they can use emails and social media to follow up to sell more cars. Okay, finally, you're uh, telling today about the importance of having specialized pages for every single car, whether it's used or new. But why should a dealer have pages for new cars? I mean, you can find a lot of information about new cars everywhere on the uh, on the internet why should a dealer have such a page well it's common practice for used cars since they're unique with unique mileage colors and condition to have a unique page we call it a vehicle detail page or vdp in the same way new cars have different accessories and features different engine um, configurations different styling and consumers expect the transparency to know whether the vehicle is in stock or it has to be ordered. Dealers who are only showing a product page and no inventory actually are perceived as hiding something. The dealers who show a page for every new vehicle and every used vehicle with great descriptions, with great photos and transparent pricing are winning the consumer's heart and mind because they're providing the information that they want in the zero moment of truth.